It can be really difficult when you have dry eye or sensitive skin, ocular rosacea, to find skincare that isn't gonna harm your eyes. Because like I've said before, and I'll say it a thousand more times, what goes around your eyes ends up in your eyes. And this matters because the makeup you wear, the lashes, the serums, the skincare products, all of these things, the choices you make about what you put on your face will end up in your eye. And so we really want to be careful about we put what we put in our eyes. So in today's video, I am going over one of the products that I carry in my office or one of the product lines. It's called Circadia. It's a physician based company. So professionally dispensed typically. I'm an optometrist. I have a dry eye specialty clinic and I have an aesthetics clinic. And so I have a special interest in finding brands and their specific products within those brands that I feel are the most eye safe. And so in today's video, we're talking about my picks from Circadia. Welcome back to Eye School with me, Dr. D, where I'm teaching you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so that you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. If you like this kind of content and wanna learn more, give a tap on the subscribe button down below or go ahead and join my Facebook community, Eye Safe Beauty Community, where we're all learning together about the best ingredients and products out there on the market. So is Circadia medical grade? Well, Circadia products are medical grade and so therefore they're only gonna be available through licensed providers like Illumie, another brand I really like. These are professionally dispensed skincare products. Now Circadia hails from rural Pennsylvania. That's where they have their operations, their product development, and their manufacturing. And they have something called a Circadia Institute that offers seminars that you can actually go to if you're a provider, um, not so much patients, but if you have an account, you can go to Circadia University. And they also have Circadia University online, which is really great because you can learn so much about their formulations by watching their videos. So Circadia's formulations combine pure botanicals, they use a lot of stem cell technology, vitamins, and then a lot of peptides to achieve optimal skin health and beauty. They have lots and lots and lots of options like chemical peel alternatives, all these innovative delivery systems and things they've patented, ingredient technology that they've patented that's going to be exclusive to Circadia. Circadia is actually owned by Dr. Puglis and their CEO is Michael Q. Puglis. So I don't know, I think they were started by Dr. Peter Puglis, but it was a physician that dedicated decades of research to understanding the skin and delivering clinical and relevant information on product development. So he really tried to make products that would work on the skin. He spent 30 years developing and manufacturing products for major brands in the industry before starting his own line. So what do I love from Circadia? There's a couple things I really Really, really really love the first and I have so much experience with this is the post peel balm the post peel balm is soothing it's somewhere between a serum and a moisturizer consistency and it's wonderful for using after chemical peels but anytime you want to calm and comfort the skin I use this just as much as I use a Lumiere for after IPL. It contains a skin identical lipid complex that increases water holding capacity and provides a semi-occlusive and protective barrier. I have just found that it is so, so good on post peel skin, post aggressive treatments, but even if you have um, skin that's really red and wind burned, or you just got microdermabrasion, or you just got waxed or something, it would be really, really good to use. Even after like dermaplaning, so let's say you go for a dermaplaning facial and then there's just a little bit of like irritation oh my gosh post peel balm probably within 24 to 36 hours you'll just be good as new it is fast absorbing it provides some anti-inflammatory and regenerative properties and it's great for post waxing post microdermabrasion hydrodermabrasion peels ipl anything that may have irritated the skin the second is the rose ease relief cream so this cream is is meant to calm the redness and irritation associated with rosacea. So you know if you have rosacea that you have an 
typically an impaired skin barrier, redness of the skin that gets better and worse depending on what you eat and those different triggers. And this is intended to control the demodex mite that's thought to contribute to rosacea. And hey, by the way, demodex mites contribute to ocular rosacea and dry eye syndrome, right? So really great for me to be controlling that demodex population on the face. I think that only can have good implications for the eye. So it is a lightweight kind of cream. It's antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory. It's supporting the barrier function. It's supporting a better skin barrier, which we often need in rosacea patients and it's improving moisture retention. And then the last product I'll talk about that I really love from Circadia is the Aloe and Calendula Calming Mist. So this is a blend of aloe, calendula, elderflower, rose, and seaweed extracts that helps calm discomfort associated with rosacea and sensitive skin. So everything in this is going to moisturize and soothe irritated skin. There's marine extracts, which help to improve inflammation, and aloe extracts, which promote healing and calming effects of the skin. And I've talked about this before. I have a preferred aloe gel that I use as my conductive medium in a 50-50 mix with ultrasound gel, even for IPL. I have a wonderful aloe that has manuka honey. So I have found it to be very helpful for patients. They do really well after IPL, just even having the aloe gel on their face. And so this mist with a little bit of aloe in it. I just really like that for dry eyes. So in terms of how to order the stuff from Circadia, they really don't allow even retailers to sell it online. I don't have mine online. I just have it in the office, but definitely check out their website, circadia.com. This is not a sponsored video. You can tell them I sent you and maybe they'll make it sponsored. I don't know. So anyway, there's a number of the components of your skincare that can affect your eyes, your tear film, and therefore impact dry eye symptoms. And so these are just three products from Circadia. There's certainly many more. If you have specific questions about other products from Circadia you want me to cover, please leave that in the comments down below. And remember, anything you put around your eyes will end up in your eyes. So it's incredibly important to flip over labels and analyze the components in your skincare, your cosmetics, and think critically about how it will impact your tear film. Please join us over on the iSafe Beauty community on Facebook where we're all learning more about this together. And if you haven't already, would love to have you subscribed here on the channel. Thanks so much for everything. That's it for today's iSchool class is dismissed. <laughs>